Hello Instagram, I'm David, this is an Englishman uh, in the Balkans and if you like the content here, uh, you can see it on the feed on my Instagram stories there'll be a link to it and this thing goes to IGTV where we get longer than a minute so if you like the videos, when you get to the IGTV stage just press follow and you'll be notified every time that I do an update here on Instagram. So on the last vlog I said that we were going to be doing a lot more content in 2020 and the plan is coming together nice and slowly but the plan is definitely there. Now to create the content that Tam and I want to create for you to show you the beauty and the wonders of Bosnia and Herzegovina we've got to be able to get out and about and at the moment our car is like not really on its last legs but it's getting old. So to help us out, Control Rent-A-Car, who are a Banja Luka based car rental company, have said, well, we'd like to get involved with you and your vlogs and your videos. Can we work together? So over the past few months, we've been talking to each other and this is what's happened. An Englishman in the Balkans is now supported by Control Rent-A-Car. So when we go out and about, we're gonna have a nice new car to travel to the various locations, whether it's in Herzegovina, over in the eastern part of the country or wherever. So if you want us to come and uh, do a video or a vlog from where you live or you want to show us something cultural, just get in touch because now we can get anywhere in the country that we want. So I'd like to thank Alexander from Control Rent-A-Car for wanting to collaborate with us. It's going to be amazing what we're going to be able to do together. Superb. So if you land at Banja Luka Airport or Zagreb Airport, Control are going to be absolutely amazing for you. Excellent service, they all speak English and they've got tips and tricks of where to go and what to see in the country as well. So more about that and our collaboration in future vlogs. This week has been a first for me. I've been to the theatre here in Banja Luka. I think it was, yeah, last week uh, I was with Tam and her parents and her niece and her niece said, hey, I've got tickets to go and see a theatre production, but I can't go, would you like them? Well, what do you do? You've got to say yes. Now, my language skills aren't all that good, to be honest with you, but I thought, hey, I'll do it for the experience. And what an experience it was. I've been to the theatre quite a lot in the West End of London, so maybe I was setting my standards a little bit too high, but I was totally surprised and amazed. An amazing venue at the uh, theatre here in Banja Luka, very comfortable, acoustics and atmosphere amazing, but above all, the standard of acting, first class, excellent. In fact, I was saying to Tam afterwards, have those people been on TV? And we think that most of the actors and actresses had. Had an absolute blast. Uh, it was a comedy. I got about 40% of it, but I didn't go there to practice my language. I went there for the experience and it was really cool. Right down to the fact that people weren't taking popcorn in and they'd actually switched off their mobile phones, which is a very difficult thing to achieve back in the UK. And afterwards, we went for an after performance drink. Uh, we went to a local coffee bar. And you know, when you hear local music and people start dancing and singing along, it really is in the DNA. And Tam is no exception. <laughs> So that's it from this short update. Uh, I'm just finishing off editing uh, a video that will be on YouTube uh, and we'll be sharing it on the Facebook page and also uh, here on Instagram, although I'll have to change the format slightly uh, for Instagram because a few weeks ago we were very, very lucky enough to bump into four Malayan girls who are actually studying in Amman in Jordan and they'd come to Bosnia-Herzegovina for a visit and they were in Banja Luka and we showed them around uh, and they were really, really, really enthralled and had a lot of positive things to say uh, about the country. So much so that I said, well, when you get back, can we do a Skype interview um, so that you can tell everybody what a blast you had when you were in uh, BIH? One of them, Amira, said yes. So I talked to her the other day and as I said, I'm just finishing the edit now. So in the next few days, I've got to show her first, which I said, but once she says it's okay, then there'll be a brand new vlog up on YouTube. I'll put it on Facebook and also it'll be here in one form or another uh, on Instagram. So that will be a Malay's thoughts 
about Bosnia and Herzegovina. So that's it for this short update vlog from me, an in-betweener, David Bailey, an Englishman in the Balkans. Wherever you see this, whether it's on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or if somebody's posted it somewhere that I don't know about, please do like, share, subscribe. You know what to do uh, so that more and more people can see the content and we can tell the whole world about how great Bosnia and Herzegovina is. Until the next time, wherever you are, please do stay safe.